airplane is incredibly hard to fly. I guess there's some people that would be able to. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in the X-Plane Flight Simulator and we're right now on board a 737. But we've obviously got a problem. We're here somewhere in Italy, somewhere on the Alpine Mountain on a runway that definitely is way too small. So the question is, how do we get this aircraft off the ground? Well, perhaps we can tune it a little bit and turn it into a VTOL plane. Yes, VTOL plane that can vertically take off. VTOL now stands for a uh, vertical takeoff or landing or something. And we can actually make that happen. That's not that hard of an idea. Maybe let's just um, rotate the engines a little bit. Um, you have no idea how long I've spent on modifying this animation to work here. A little bit of modeling done, there we go. And now our engines are generally turned upside down so that we would probably be able to take off vertically. Let's go full power. Yeah, are we starting to move? No, not really. Obviously, it makes sense. We need engines that are a whole lot more powerful than the normal CFM engines that the 737 has. We take a look at other VTOL capable aircraft like the V-22 Osprey. Those huge propellers remind you a lot of a helicopter size. It makes sense. I mean, these wings are practically useless. Helicopter flying, which is vertical, and plane flying, which is horizontal, works a whole lot differently. Meaning now, in order to carry this like 200,000 pounds heavy 737, we need engines that can power, uh, uh, you know, half of that together this way, which turns out is harder to do. These CFM engines only give us 33,000 pounds per engine of thrust. Something we can try to do is put on afterburners. Yes, engineering 001. Now, go full power. That is not enough. Yeah, it is true. We need larger engines for this to work. For example, a GE90 engine, which can deliver 115,000 pounds. That would technically be enough, right? So let's go ahead and just go for 115,000. I'm not going to model the GE90 onto this because that would be too much work. So let's pretend that we've got a GE90 on this guy, all right? Okay, save and reload. I really want to make this work. Otherwise, how are we going to get off this runway? There's no way. Come on, full power now. I mean, the GE90 anyway is the size of a 737. I don't see a problem at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that is also already perfect. It's not quite enough just yet. A little more power. Come on, you can do it. Uh, yeah. Yes! Our 737 is off in the air. Let me go ahead and direct the air to go a little bit. Come on, there you go. A little bit more thrust vectoring. Perfect. Our 737 is actually VTOLing. Uh, which is almost working kind of well. I mean, the problem is for sure that we have no steering whatsoever. Uh, come on now. You can do it. Yes. Let me go ahead and reduce the weight of this aircraft. That could be a good idea. It's a less payload. A little less fuel, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what how that guy plan Oh. Oh, alright. So I think one thing that we really don't have is steering at all. Which I might just add. Other than that, this plane took off no problem. Right, there we go. I think this is going to be able to make the whole thing maneuverable. Alright, let's try again now. Full power? You can do it. Oh my no! A little more, please. Guys, we are so close to hitting our goal. Let's not give up now. Here we go, full power. Why does it keep doing a loop? That sucks. All right, so let's maybe see. Let's maybe rediscover this. Now we're spawning in midair into our 737 that can now go incredibly fast, especially also with the... <laughs> Yes, the afterburners that it does have, which works incredibly well. So let me go ahead and go back to our special mode, which gives this plane VTOL ability. I guess it makes a bit more sense to try for midair. So there we go. Welcome aboard our 737. Let's go ahead and maybe try to stop it. I think the killer would be now to go reverse dress. I mean, it works, right? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's, that's a way to descend incredibly quickly. Good. You can see the thrust down here is actually being vectored. I can control the plane now vertically. You can see that. That looks absolutely good. I can trim the airplane out. Oh god, we're stalling. We're stalling. We're, st we're definitely stalling. All right, come on, come back. Come back. Come back to life. I need you in full power position. All right, passengers, we have a bit of a problem. Uh, brace. All right, maybe... Uh Crash into a house. 
That's even worse. All right, come on. Maybe with artificial stability, playing around a little bit to have a plane that, or like kind of like a rocket, really. That's what we need. A plane that stab stabilizes itself. Obviously, you know, no drone at all flies without a computer that vectors the thrust so that, you know, it doesn't crash. So come on. Let's try this. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm. Maybe go ahead. Perhaps the tail is a bit too heavy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're midair. Barely. <sighs> Alright, maybe try this kind of setting. I'm kind of just tuning this plane so that it actually flies. That's a good idea. Alright. There we go. Come on, come on. Where you can do it. You can so do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Uh, mm hmm. Okay. Well, you have to learn to fly this thing, let me tell you. Yes, I, uh -huh, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Perhaps you can see it right here. This is actually the thrust vectoring that's going on. Normally, this would show the actual engine moving a little bit more, too. But this way, I'm able to actually somewhat control where this plane is going. This is going to take some time to master this airplane, but after a while, you can just go and relax, and you have enough thrust to go ahead and fly normally. There you go, and that way we're able to go very fast. Not the most realistic thing I've ever done, but that's just great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. All right, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. I think this thing's got not enough power. I think that's the problem. All right, come on. Very carefully, giving in some power. Oh, mm. Come on now. Very carefully. It is super hard to do such a thing. We might also need a bit more power, honestly. Come on, give it more. You can do it. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Do like a half-mast kind of thing. All right, that's actually a whole lot better. Oh. All right, what have we learned so far? Uh, I probably am just bad at engineering airplanes and their systems, but something we can do at least is take off with a normal mode. Because of the immense power that this airplane has, we were able to get off the ground in any second anyway. There you go. That didn't take a long time. And then while flying, I guess, we can resort back to some sort of... There you go. VTOL flying. And we can maybe land like a helicopter in town. The problem is, with this kind of heavy aircraft, we need so much thrust. This would blow away a whole neighborhood anyway. And this thing would be unusable because of this, you know, because of how heavy it is. And this is probably why definitely size of helicopters is limited. It's... That blows away too much. All right. After an hour of trying, I thought it was finally time to finally show my results. This plane is incredibly hard to fly. I guess there's some people that would be able to. Right now, we just did a somewhat of a takeoff. But keeping uh, that streak would be incredibly hard. And staying alive would be hard too. This whatever flying uh, monster that I've created is so what was called unstable there's practically not even any nasa computer to to calculate everything nothing would help the max setting of artificial stability controls don't do anything at all maybe for the end of this video i really want to try to make a smooth landing here with this kind of system no i didn't mean it like that so what do you think so much for watching this experimental video i guess this is after all a better idea a normal 737 there we go so I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Fan Z, Moritz, Wellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.